Hello Glamour Ghouls, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. We are opening subscriber mail and mail packages of spooky deliveries today and I'm so, so excited. Oh, and before I get started with the subscriber mail, I opened another package at the end of like two hunts ago and the way it played out in the end it just didn't work out that that made it into that video so i'm gonna drop that clip here first of an unboxing i did recently uh from a, a really cool t-shirt company she made me the cutest little box so i'm gonna show that here i got the cutest little package in my po box this morning and i look at all this cute decor on our box. She's got my little logo here and code orange. So this is from Halloween Lover 28 on Instagram. This is her shop. It is the off fuck it brand. <laughs> and that is our, our friend. So she reached out to me uh, for her t shirt brand and asked if she could send me a couple of things. And I said, please, do because I love a shouting out small businesses and B I always need more like comfy um spooky attire to wear out decor hunting because I get really especially this time of year it's so hot and humid in Missouri and I hate wearing like my big dresses and stuff out when I'm hunting so she has sent me over some really cute stuff let's see what we've got I've got a little letter here. Midge Munster, my name is Denise. Thank you so much for wanting to support my brand and giving me the chance to send you some of my shirts. It means so much to me that one of my favorite YouTubers is going to wear my brand. Thank you. Uh, please let me know if everything fits. If it doesn't, I will gladly replace it. Love you so much from the all fuck it brand. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will link her uh, shop and everything in the description box. Oh, she sent me goodies. So I've got a little journal, a Hocus Pocus journal. You'll have to excuse, I lost a nail. <laughs> uh, that has the Sanderson Witchcraft Museum on the front. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's just like a blank little journal for writing. <gasps> Thank you, Denise, that is so nice. That is so nice. And as you all know, I recently quit my job. And so I'm doing a lot of writing and planning right now. And I need as many journals as I can get to plan out content and stuff. So thank you so much. That's so handy and cute. So this is our package. It's got a little bat ribbon on it. That is so pretty. I'm definitely gonna use that bat ribbon again. So we have, looks like two shirts. This is shirt number one. Cute. So it is like a little crop top and it has this zombie on it. It says, oh, fuck it. <laughs> and on the back, it has this like zombie hand coming out. Super cute. I love that it is a V-neck because I don't love crew neck on me. Super, super soft, really cute. I love that it's like Halloween colors too. And then she mentioned this was something she was doing for me. I love this. So this is a pride shirt with a rainbow on it with again, her brand, Aw Fuck It. <laughs> and on the back it says, together we stand in pride. And I told her I very specifically wanted like cropped shirts cause I'm really loving wearing crop tops in the summer. It's so nice and cool. These shirts are really lightweight and nice. I'm very, very excited to wear these out decor hunting. Thank you so much, Denise. I really appreciate you um, sending these to me. And like I said, I will link her shop and her brand and everything down in the description box if you want to check out her t-shirts. Okay, start small. <laughs> so this is a little card from Sips and Spirits, which is my friend Chelsea from and here's, look at that little cute little sticker. This is such a like nice envelope too, made out to Midge. Okay, let's open this up. 
I love getting mail. I really do. It's one of my favorite, favorite things is to open mail. Okay, so Sips and Spirits. So this is my friend Chelsea and her husband's new podcast, Sips and Spirits, a podcast for those who love spirits, both alcoholic and spectral. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so the this is a little invitation. So it says, join our podcast promo party on IG Live Wednesday, July 21st at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time at Sips and Spirits. Meet the folks behind Sips and Spirits, mix up some cocktails, enjoy a spooky story, and be the first to preview our promo trailer. Eager, eager to have you haunt with us, Chelsea and Eric. Awesome. Thank you guys. I'm so excited to tune into that. I've been really looking forward to this podcast that they are starting. So I will uh, put their Instagram handle in the description box below. This is something I've also been excited about. This is my Bats and Bones subscription box. So I did not pay for this. This was gifted to me by Bats and Bones, um, but they told me they were sending it to me. And I think I've got some more like details in here about exactly what they do, but I don't know what's inside. So I'm really excited. Okay, so first when I open up, we have this postcard. There is kind of like a spooky gory image just as a warning, um, but we've got this, the spooky, spooky girl. And on the back, it tells us what we've got here. So this is the Bats and Bones 2020 or July, 2021. Um, so the theme for this spooky box was blood and gore. So this tells us what we have in here. Let's start with, oh, what is this? This is cool. Well, I guess I'll do them in order of what they've got listed here. Oh my God, this is fun. This is very spooky. So number one is the blood bath shower gel. Bathe yourself in true horror movie style with this cherry scented shower gel. And it comes in a <laughs> blood bag like from, you know, like if you were at the, the doctor or whatever. And it's a scented shower gel. That's so funny. Oh, wow. It smells like cherry. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> this is so funny. So here is our shower gel <laughs> in a in an O type O blood bag. And that's fun because you can like hang it in the shower. <laughs> This will be fun. I might put this in my guest bath during spooky season. And then if people stay with me, they will have a, a fun little surprise, but it's called blood bath. So that's pretty funny. Okay. Next we have some earrings, which y'all already know <laughs> that your bitch loves earrings. Show off your killer style with these dangerously cool blood stained earrings. So here are these little metal cleaver bloody earrings. Those are so cute. I don't own anything like, um, I've, I've seen these like knife earrings before that I've kind of wanted in the past, but I just haven't ever gotten them. So I don't own anything like that. So that's really fun. I like that. And then we also have a matching, and this one's in a cute little red bag, bloody cleaver keychain for your keys or, you know, whatever you want to use it for. And then we have what looks to be some sunglasses. Yes, so this is the case and it says, killing it. <laughs> and it says, you'll be killing it this summer with these novelty glasses and custom designed soft case. Let me cut this. They're bubble wrapped very nicely, which is great because USPS has not been what I would call um, super careful with my packages lately. <laughs> Oh, cool. I don't know why when it said blood drip sunglasses, I was thinking they would be like spattered, but these are actually like, uh, like dripping blood. Oh, stop it. These are so badass. Okay, why are, they, why am I like killing it in these? <laughs> stop. I love these. These are very queer and I love it. I love it. Oh my God, those are so much fun. So much fun. This is, this is a really, okay. I'm, I'll say my thoughts. I have one more item before I speak my mind about this. Okay, and then last we have, this is pretty funny. I like this. And I'm not usually like a gore person. Like I love slasher movies, but like as far as home decor and things, I don't like gore. But 
this is pretty funny. Um, this is a little cutting board that says chop chop. <laughs> uh, sorry, my, um, my ring light's really reflecting off of that. There, you can kind of see it. I'm bummed, I'm holding it because it, it did cut, it broke in the mail. So that's a bummer. I can, I mean, even you can see when I do this, when I hold it, it, you can't tell, so I can glue it back together. But it, it's like porcelain. That is so funny. Chop, chop. This trivet slash chopping board designed by Alchemy Gothic is a fun yet slightly gruesome item that will add a little quirkiness to any kitchen. Perfect for a display or can be hung up on the wall or used as a functional item to slice up food or be a serving platter. Just be sure you don't chop, chop your fingers. <laughs> Okay, so that is everything from our Bats and Bones box. This is fun. The, I, I've seen lots of spooky subscription boxes and sometimes I'm just like, I wouldn't pay for that. You know, like there's, it's like a couple little tchotchkes that are like, you know, things I could find at the dollar store, like make myself. The, this is really fun. Like this is super well curated. I like they really like went for a theme and that you get this like cute description of everything. This is really cool. I had a lot of fun with this. Thank you Bats and Bones for sending this to me. Um, I will link their website and everything down in the description box. Let me, I know she sent me, let's read their little thing. Bats and Bones is a monthly subscription box focused on gothic, occult, and pagan products. If you love Halloween or enjoy the darker side of life, then this box is for you. Each month, our box is curated around a specific theme featuring five to seven items, including home goods, decor, accessories, jewelry, bath, candles, and novelty items. Boxes can be purchased individually or as part of a or as part of a prepaid three, six, or 12 month subscription. Each box is $30 or 23 pounds or 25 euros with additional shipping fees. If you sign up for a prepaid subscription of three, six or 12 months, you pay a reduced rate of only 27.50 per box. Oh my gosh, their August theme is creepy carnival. You guys know, maybe you don't know, this is a thing that I, I love. I am such a like weirdo about old carnival and circus stuff. It's like a weird thing that I love because it's so creepy and like real, like it happened and it was weird and oh, oh I gotta get the August box. That's so fun. Oh, and they've given us 10% off for the subscribers if you use my code Midge. So I will put their website and everything and that code, all that down in the description box. Thank you, Bats and Bones. That is so much fun. Okay, next I'm gonna show you something. She offered to send this to me and I went ahead and bought this with my own money because I love her art so much and she is a friend and fellow YouTuber who I really respect and admire and so I wanted to support her business. So um, not that I didn't wanna support the other these other businesses, they just had already sent me stuff um, and this, was a friend that I was chatting with and she's like, well, I'll just send you it. And I was like, no, 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 I wanna buy it. Um, so this is from Rachel Mortician. Um, if you don't already subscribe to her here on YouTube, I would recommend that you do. She, it's Rachel Mortician on YouTube also. Um, she does more, she does spooky like Halloween content like I do, but she also um, does a lot more, she's more goth than I am, <laughs> like she's cooler than I am. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. She's a uh, very like Victorian goth. She's a tattoo artist. She's an artist artist. Like she's just, she's so cool. Um, so she had done these prints and she had messaged me about them and told me she was getting prints in. And I was like, I have to have them. And she does this like beautiful tattoo style artwork. So I bought three of these prints and they are vintage style lamps but each design is based on Beetlejuice. So this one is their little ghosts. And then as you can see, the shade is Barbara's dress and Adam's shirt. So freaking cool. And then of course, we've got this beautiful one of Beetlejuice when he turns into the carnival ride. I mean, I think these are just like about as stunning as they could possibly be. <laughs> so here's all three of them. I'm gonna get these framed and put them in my new office space. 
I, they're so, so cool. I love the colors. There's, this is on like really nice heavy paper. I know they're prints, but it straight up looks like she painted this on here. Like it's so or like nice looking. I don't I like this one so much. So I will link her Etsy shop. I think it's Bat, Batty Fang Oddities. I might be wrong. Sorry, Rachel, if I'm getting that wrong. Um, but I will, I'll link it down below and um, go check out her artwork. It's so cute. Okay, next we have something from Grace. Let's open this up. Got an envelope. Got an, oh, yay! Yay, 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 yay. Let me, um, there's a card. Let's read the card first. Oh, cute. Halloween greetings. That is such a cute little card. It says, she reminded me of your old time pottery find. She totally does look like my little hag witch on the moon. Hope you enjoy this art. Thank you for the inspiration. Happy Halloween. Oh, thank you, Grace, so much. So this is really exciting. This is a piece of art that was done actually this past year in December of me, of my Glampus look. And uh, she had sent it to me on Instagram, like just sent me a picture, but she sent me the actual uh, original like piece of me as Glampus. I love this art so much. I love my little like martini glasses. <laughs> Thank you so much, Grace. I knew, I did know she was sending this to me, I forgot. Um, but oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I think I've mentioned to you all that it's in my intention to do a little like a gallery wall of all the art you guys have done of me because it just makes me really happy to like see myself through your eyes <laughs> makes me feel like really empowered and excited. So um, I'm gonna do a little wall and I'm really excited that she sent me this. Thank you, Grace. Okay, now we have something from Fairy Flux. Cute little like, little stickery kitty kitty on the back. Really cute pink poly mailer. Little card. This says, hello Midge, I found your, I found your YouTube channel recently since the algorithm knows I want more Halloween content. <laughs> Amazing. I love your videos and super excited for decor hunting this year. I own an Etsy shop and wanted to send you some stuff you might like. My style has been going back and forth between cute and creepy, but I want more spooky designs. Have a good day. Katie? I think it says Katie at Fairy Flux. Um, there's nothing wrong with going back and forth between cute and creepy. I feel that on a spiritual level. Ooh, enamel pins. You guys know I love enamel pins. Oh, cute. Oh, I love this. Okay, so we've got two little pins. One of them looks like a little kind of like love potion bottle. Little bats around on the backing card that's so cute. And then the other one is this tube of like gothy lipstick, which I love. That is so cute. That's her shop name, Fairy Flux, right there. And y'all know that I just got my first ever leather jacket that I'm very excited about. And I've been looking for like spooky pins to put on the lapels. So I will definitely be putting these on there. Thank you so much, Fairy Flux. This is awesome. Got a couple more things. This is from Sharla in New Mexico. It says, do not bend. Fun, cute picture inside. <laughs> I love fun, cute pictures. There's a little note that says, have fun, stay safe, and have fun with the pictures. Do as you please with them. Keep on smiling, Sharla. Thank you, Sharla. Oh, and she sent me a couple little cute pictures. There's a little fall bucket list of things to do. Um, like go apple picking, decorate, toast pumpkin seeds, which you all know I'll be doing. And then a really cute little um, like Disney print with this uh, little ghosts and the Mickey and Donald and Goofy like <laughs> going through this haunted house. It's really cute. Thank you for thinking of me, Sharla. That's so sweet. Okay, now I've got this one. It's big and it's heavy and I don't I know there were a few places sending me some stuff, but I don't, who asked to like send me stuff, but I don't remember who this is specifically. The package says Catherine, Catherine from Stamford, Connecticut. 
Oh, oh wait, no, I do know who this is. As soon as I said Stanford, Connecticut, I was like, oh wait, I think I remember now. So we got a little pack to start here. Oh my God, this is so cute. Stop, this is so cute. It looks like a little library card. It says, Midge, I am so grateful for the YouTube algorithm gods that recommended your channel to me. Your channel and you are so much fun and I love watching while packing my orders. Enjoy, Kate. Thank you, Kate, that's so nice. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Uh, Biblio Magica is the name of Kate's shop and I will, she's got Etsy and Instagram. I will link all this down below. I've got a little, oh my gosh, wow, wow. We've got, she had a little tea light in that bag. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. It's like apple-y, but kind of pumpkin spicy. Oh my God, it smells so good. That, it smells fresh. Like that doesn't even smell like a candle. What does that smell like? Oh my gosh, there is so much in here, Kate. You did not need to send me all this. You are so sweet. Okay. So I did, as soon as I saw Connecticut, I remembered that Kate uh, told me, cause I saw she had like Gilmore Girl stuff in her shop and she was like, yeah, I'm like from the area where like Salt Star Hollow would be. And I'm a big old Gilmore Girls nerd. So, okay, we have candles. I love candles. This one is called Salem. The, the scent is called Salem. And it, the profile is pumpkin, teak wood, and moss. Oh my God. These are gonna smell so good. I can feel it. Oh my gosh. 100% soy wax candles hand poured in Connecticut. <sighs> Y'all. That's one of the best smelling candles I've ever, like, and it's, I don't know how to describe the fact that they don't smell artificial. Does that make sense? Like, it smells like you're walking outside and you catch a whiff of like a really nice smell. <laughs> like, I love that. I love that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. There's, there's so many. There's four, at least four, and there's something else that I don't even know what that is. Oh my God. I am spoiled. I am spoiled rotten. Ooh, okay, the bacchanal. Bacchanal, it's got like fruit. Is that like, like Bacchus? Like, um, like Dionysus? Is that pomegranate, teakwood, and amber? Pomegranate makes me kind of think like maybe it might be kind of based on Dionysus, like that whiny, fruity, I don't know. You guys will have to educate me if I if I don't know what bacchanal means, but pomegranate, teakwood, and amber. Amber is one of my favorite scents. <laughs> guys, I am not blowing smoke. Like this is, these smell amazing. These are like, I mean, the, the profiles on these are so complex and beautifully balanced. Oh my God. Oh, that smells so good. Holy crap, Kate. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna take Bath and Body Works down. I'll tell you what, I went to Bath and Body today and I smelled some smells. I smelled some good smells, but I smelled some really bad smells as well. I smelled something that was like a cart salted pretzel milkshake smell. I don't, it was bad y'all. <gasps> oh, I just realized that things are on the outside of the box. This one is Stars Hollow Autumn Festival. Where are my Gilmore Girls fans at? Sound off below. Sound off in the comments. Apple, cinnamon, and caramel. I know that like what I'm prepping myself for, it's not even, I can't even begin to imagine how good this is gonna be. It's gonna be so good. That's, that's what that tea light is. It smells so good. It smells like an apple orchard. That fresh apple smell, not, not synthetic apple. Like that smell where you can almost smell the peel when you're biting into the apple and it has that little bit of natural kind of, I don't want to say dirt smell. That's not what I mean, but like, like that just, mm, oh, that is good. Oh, this about to be my new, this and Salem are, they're all good. They're all good. I, I love them. 
Okay, hold on. If you're like a, a child of the fall, like if you love fall and you don't love Gilmore Girls, like who hurt you? <laughs> this one is called the Dragonfly Inn. Oh my gosh. Another Gilmore Girls candle, the Dragonfly Inn. My girl Kate, she knows it says linen, sandalwood, and lavender. I don't know why, but you know. You know the Dragonfly Inn smells like lavender. You know it does. <laughs> Oh my god, it smells so nice. Oh, that smells clean. That smells fresh. That smells floral, but not strongly. Lavender can be so bad. It can be so bad if it's not done right. Oh my god. Okay, well, every single one of those is absolutely perfect. And we've got, is this... If this is two more candles, I'm gonna scream. Look how, look at this, what is this? Time to scream, time to scream, it's more candles. Kate is about to be keeping me in candles for the next five years. I am so excited. Okay, so these, these are Halloween candles and we have Hocus and we have Hocus. That is so cute. Okay, so Hocus is pumpkin and spice. Before we even get into this, you all know how particular I am about my pumpkin spice. I like it spicy. I don't like it sweet. I like it smelling pumpkin-y, not like fake pumpkin smell. Oh. That smells like, that's, yep. That's it. It's when it has that clovey, the clove smell, and then the naturally, like, not the nasty natural pumpkin, but, but like when it doesn't smell like a sweet pumpkin, because pumpkins aren't sweet. Naturally, they are not sweet at all. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Pocus, apple, and jade. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know this is gonna smell good. You know it is. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. I love your apple smells. I love them. They are perfect. Don't change a thing about them. Okay, well. <laughs> so this is, uh, that's that from uh, Biblio Magica. Again, is the name of Kate's shop. I will link it down below. Please go support this business. Holy crud. Like, in, in the time where we are like, deep up the butthole of Bath and Body Works. <laughs> like we are all like laser focused in on Bath and Body Works. Do not forget that there are amazing small candle makers who like honestly make better sense. <laughs> like I love Bath and Body, but like this is, this is better. It's better. I said it. Oh my gosh, wait. I almost missed this. What's this? Hold this. Oh my god, stop it. I almost missed this little, is this a wax melt? Is that what I'm looking at? I'm assuming. There's also, this is a little hocus wax melt that looks like a little piece of pumpkin pie. Look at that. That is so cute. Oh my god, that smells so good. That is the only pumpkin scent. Guys, there's more. There's more. Kate, you are a mad woman. Oh, but this, oh, it's so good. This is the Dragonfly Inn in a wax melt that looks like a little ladybug. That is so cute. And it smells so good. Well, no wonder that box was so heavy. That's 600 candles in it. Seriously, thank you so, so much, Kate. That's amazing. I really hope my friend Sean is watching this. <laughs> I've talked about Sean once before. He's also really into like spooky stuff. And Sean used to have, I think he might still have, a closet in him and his husband's house that was literally like dedicated to backstocking <laughs> scented candles. <laughs> the man loves candles and I, I relate. Okay. I think that is it for 
subscriber mail. I want to sincerely thank you all again for any company or person or subscriber or whoever who sent me anything. And it, it means so much to me that you all care enough to send me things to, um, you know, share with me, to share your, your incredible businesses and your, you know, just everything. You guys are awesome. And I am so thankful for such a great community. Um, I love, like I said, I love opening mail. It's so much fun. So um, my PO box is always in the description. If you ever want to send me anything, do not feel obliged to, but if you, if you do, I will open it on the channel and I, I will appreciate it so, so much. Now, <laughs> I do have one more piece of mail to open and it is this. <laughs> Now, this is something I have purchased myself. I actually ordered this back in April, but they're, A, it's a custom piece, and B, their stuff, uh, their fabrics and stuff got uh, back ordered, I think is what, yeah, like basically they couldn't get their fabric shipped to them, that, the fabric that I asked for. So uh, it's finally here and I'm so excited and it showed up today, which is perfect because I'm doing mail unboxing anyway. I was like, I have to unbox this on the channel. <laughs> And I have not seen this yet. Like I, this will be my first time seeing it. Okay, so this is from Deadly Darling Nightshades. And this is the little sticker and their logo. So cute. I think this glows in the dark. That is so cute. Oh my God. I can just see a little bit of it. I'm already like freaking out. Okay, I've got it undone. Are you guys ready? How gorgeous is this? So this is from Deadly Darling Nightshades. I have been wanting one of their pieces forever. They take old, like beautiful frames like this and refurbish them into spooky masterpieces. And I like custom, had this one custom done in pink velvet with this bat overlay and black fringe. And I am so obsessed. I was thinking I would put it on Barnabas but I don't know. I think it needs its own. I think it needs to stand out on its own. I think I might put it over here somewhere. <gasps> oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Thank you so much, ladies. I love it so, so much. I don't know, what do you guys think? Barnabas? No, it needs its own lamp. It needs like a black, it needs a black base, I think, so it can really shine on its own. I think this is gonna be too much. <laughs> Well, there is that. Oh my God. I love it so much. I cannot wait to put that. I cannot wait to put that out in the studio. Oh my God, it's so good. I will of course link their shop in the description as well. Okay. Wow, this has gone on much, much longer than I thought it would. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to wrap up today with a very quick little haul of the stuff I've gotten over the last couple of days shopping uh, at, at home and um, Bath and Body and Cracker Barrel and all that. So first of all, like I said, Bath and Body finally let me uh, buy some stuff from behind the, uh, behind the hidden curtain. And I got three kennels. These were the candles I was desperately wanting. I love this packaging. So I got pumpkin carving with this beautiful pumpkin brocade. I got wicked apple with this adorable little like ghosty pattern, with these little apples, so cute. All of these have this really pretty spiderweb metal top that I love too. And then I also got Haunted Nights that has this skeleton pattern. And the really cool thing that somebody mentioned online and then I noticed it says it scented luminary candle. So my understanding is that these parts that are kind of hollowed out, like the skeleton on here, um, the pumpkin face I think on here, and then the ghosts and the apples maybe? No, I think just the ghosts on this one. Um, I think as the candle burns down, that part will let light through and make kind of a projection, like a, a shadow luminary of the shapes. <laughs> so that is super, super cool. I am so, so happy that I got these. Thank you to Maggie at Bath and Body Works for 
working with me and keeping me in the loop about what is going on there. Cause y'all know I am trying to get this bath and body work stuff. And these are normally $24.50, but I will say because they let me buy them during the three week sale, they came up like $17.25 or something. So steal. I was gonna show this again, just real quick that I got this. If you remember uh, at Old Time Pottery, which now feels like it's been 50 days ago <laughs> since this video has been so long, but uh, this little The Witches Inn sign with the light up marquee lights, so cute. Again, it's kind of a reminder piece. I got this uh, metal spider web for $10 at Michael's that I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use it yet, but it is very cool and I'm very excited about it. Okay, now things you have not yet seen. Today at Cracker Barrel, I got the haunted house that lights up and flashes and has sound and spooky lights and all kinds of stuff. It does have a lights only mode, which is nice too. So you can do it with just the lights and the windows, or you can have the motion activated where you walk by it and it makes like spooky sounds. I'm trying to decide if they're just showing these like bats around it for packaging purposes, or if it actually projects bats on your wall, because that would, with projection light, with projection, we're gonna have bats on walls. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I love that people are doing projection things now. I'm living for that. <laughs> and the last few things that I got are things from at home over the last couple of days. I already showed you, I think in the car, um, the Keep It Spooky mat that I finally found. <laughs> Thank you again to whoever told me it was at the cash wrap. I found it, I bought it, I'm so happy. And I also bought the skull planter um, or punch bowl, whatever you want to call it, but I do have it on my front porch. And I can't wait to get like a mum or something to put in this skeleton and give him like a crazy little hairdo. Then I got a few more things from at home. One being, y'all, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been like weirdly excited about this guy. It is this weird little eyeball vine plant in this cracked pot. This was $15 and He's very weird and I very much like him. I have a thing for spooky plants. This is a thing, a theme that's been happening since Ghoulish Garden and I, at Target and I love it. I just, I love like this weird cottage witch vibe. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have been saying he looks like Labyrinth and you're totally right. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to use this in kind of my, if you watch my spring ween video, you know I have a collection of plants and I like to do kind of a spooky, botanist type vibe in uh, different vignettes in my house. So I'm very excited about this. Kind of in fitting with that, I did get two of these eyeball candle holders. I think they're really, really cool. These were $9.99. And uh, I think these would really add to that kind of cottage witch, like witch in the woods <laughs> type tablescape. I don't know. So you guys know last year I did a skeleton theme in my dining room, like a skeleton banquet. This year I'm thinking I might go a little like woods witch. I'm not sure. Um, but I got a new hutch in there and I think it could be really cool to do kind of like an apothecary vibe. Like you stumbled into a, a witch's house and she's got all these weird plants and apothecary jars and a uh, candle sticks made of eyeballs. <laughs> so I got two of these. And then the last thing I got was something I've been excited to see in person that we finally saw today that is this spider lantern. I really like lanterns, um, but I don't own any. And I, I always like want one for Halloween and I, I always miss out. <laughs> um, but it does have a little like flameless LED candle in there with this really pretty spider cutouts. And I really like this. This was $19.99. And I almost got two of them to like frame out a space in my house, but I'm gonna start with one. Hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> Hopefully I don't want more because you y'all know they'll be gone. Um, but that is it. That is everything I've gotten so far from at home. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video when I did my little haul with the cauldron and everything, you can watch that. Um, but overall, I'm kind of, I think I'm pretty well in gear with getting everything so far this year that I've been excited about. Now I just need that hand and the headless thing from Bath and Body and I will be good to go for the whole year. <laughs> 
So this has been a very long video. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching today. If you are enjoying my videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this a thumbs up before you leave today. If you want early access to all of my decor hunting and haul videos, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description box below. If you are in the $6 tier or higher, you get early access to all my decor hunting videos and as we get into code orange season, you are definitely going to want that early access. And of course, be sure to check out all these amazing artists and companies that have sent me things that I will tag in the description box. Thank you all so much again. And uh, thank you for 15,000. I don't know if I've said that. I don't know if we've chatted since we hit 15K, but we, we did. <laughs> and I, I'm just so thankful for everything. I, I love you guys. And I, I'm just so happy four days, four days left at my job, and then we will be doing this all the time, and I could not be more excited or happier. Thank you again for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day, and until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye. Come out to social.